right, guys, so we still have some energy for the last talk for today, or we're all falling asleep. How's it going? And where's the remote for the slides? There we go. Right, so the first, um, let me just introduce myself. Those of you who are coming here for the first time, my name is Alexander Sergunin. I'm one of the sales managers here at Zabbix. Now, those of you who had the pleasure or displeasure of meeting me previously, you're probably searching for the nearest fire escape. Well, to wait for that, you kind of brought this on yourself. So, as you can probably guess it, I'm going to talk to you about the services. And maybe there will be some decent examples of why you might need those, but uh, no guarantees. So, okay, let's start with the services. What there actually is, we offer a whole plethora of different stuff. So, you see your tech support, the consulting, the training, development, upgrades. Pretty much the standard. Take your pick. Fascinating. Very interesting. Let's move on. Or, nah. Yeah, let's move on. Not exactly that great, huh? So let's talk about what we can actually do, not just focus on the names of the services, right? So let's think of how we can help you. So we can help you by deploying Zabbix from scratch, right? We can either do this remotely or send one of our guys over to your premises. No big deal. We can help you migrate from any other tool. Any other tool, okay? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Anybody still using something else? Not for long, I hope. All right. Now, once that is done, right, it's good to have some annual support where you can actually, you know, have the peace of mind that you can get help from Zabbix whenever you want it. And you can be sure that it's actually going to be of use to you. It's going to be a quality service and it's going to help you the problem get solved. Right. And the other thing, well, let's expand your services. How does that work? Right. So aside from training and stuff, we also have partnerships. And that's a great way to get more customers of your own, get some extra profits, and just expand your general level of business communication expertise. So that's the services, right? Pretty great. Some useful stuff, some convoluted stuff, something you might find useful in the future. But uh, let's focus more on some actual examples of how those can be of use to you, right? So let's not just throw words out there in thin air and hope that something happens. So let's assume the following scenario. So you are a service provider or an integrator with hundreds or thousands of customers. And uh, a couple of them suddenly decide to wake up and figure that, uh, hey, monitoring is a thing, right? We should, we should get one of those. Maybe uh, get them on a discount at the next Walmart or uh, maybe get those guys from Zabbix to help us out. So. There are multiple problems here that may occur, may not occur. The very first one is uh, you may not have any Zabbix experts of your own. So of course, this is where we come in, try to help you out, make sure the customer is doing fine, that you're doing fine as a result of that, everybody's happy. Now, the other protection problem is the lack of available resources. So let's say even if you do have your own Zabbix specialists, they all might be tied up with other projects, something that has been allocated uh, to get done months ago, weeks ago, right? And you can't necessarily just shove that off and have all your resources focus on this one customer. And again, this is where we come in, so let us bite the bullet for you. Let us make sure that you, as a company, are doing fine and that your customers are happy with both you and the software that they choose to use in the end or read. Zabbix, right? So, let's move on to an example we have here. So, okay, the situation is as follows. You do have your Zabbix specialist, maybe you don't. It doesn't really matter. The customer still wants the job done, and of course he wants it done yesterday. But the problem is, even that customer is only halfway through with his requirements. So let's say he has a general idea of what he wants to monitor, when he, when he needs it done, but uh, he's not exactly sure what to do next. So maybe he wants to integrate the monitoring system with the ticketing system, maybe. Uh, some other applications, eh, we'll see, but no guarantee so far. But the, the management has decided that they need something done. Sure, why not? That's one potential problem here. The other thing is that let's assume that this customer in person, or in example, in this case, is manufacturing his own equipment, right? And uh, of course, if this equipment is still either in development or just brand new, chances are 
you will not have any templates for it whatsoever and you'll find it very difficult to monitor it to begin with. So again, this might be a problem. Or in some cases, you see lists upon lists upon lists of requirements where the necessary equipment is not even shipped and the customer wants to monitor it but has no, availability, no, no chance to do so. But of course, he'd be bothering you because he has his deadlines and he needs to get the job done, but he's not exactly happy still. And of course, there's never a case where the deadlines are huge, right? So there's always, there's always right upon your neck and there's nothing you can really do about it except for try to delay, maybe be nice with the customer, or again, reassign all your available resources to focus on this one particular client and as a result, maybe ruin your relationship with someone else. But still, that seems kind of reasonable. It seems that it's something you can actually do without too much of a hassle. Okay, fair enough. But uh, let's throw in some more obstacles. So let's assume this particular customer of yours has very strict security policies and they do not allow any direct access to their environment, nor can they allow you to visit their office and deal with the problem hands on. Right, okay, now what do, we do, what do we do in this case? We can either hope on uh, a miracle or just do any screen sharing and figure that out. Now, in this particular case, connection is established via TeamViewer and miraculously through an 800 by 600 screen. Not exactly the best thing to do here. Another thing, same customer, right, same example. This screen sharing happens on a laptop that is for some reason set to go to sleep every 45 minutes or so. Nothing you can do about that yet too. The customer is reluctant to identify the problem or actually respond to you in a timely manner. So you're also dealing with slow internet and slow response frame from this said customer. Now, and I can go on with such requirements, such uh, let's say hard to believe problems, but the best thing is all I've listed so far this is an actual case that uh, a couple of our support engineers had to deal a couple of months ago, and I'm not even making this up. So what happened is uh, Alexei Pustavalov and Andrew Gushin were brave enough to actually challenge the customer and through all these difficulties still deploy Zabbix through this uh, very interesting scenario. So Zabbix was deployed without, a, without, without any issues, and the customer, the environment is not that huge, Right, so they only had about several hundred, let's say 400, 400 servers, two separate Zabbix uh, server installations, and just under uh, 100,000 items we monitored. But still, even with all, these, um, with all these limitations, we got the job done pretty easily at that and in, t in a timely manner. So we developed custom templates for the customer. We also started with a bit of an integration. We integrated Zabbix with Splunk weather maps, and uh, now the customer is actually thinking of switching back from weather maps and using Zabbix maps, but uh, I guess that's something we'll have to address in a couple of weeks when the customer is ready to proceed again. And uh, also we were able to provide all the documentation for this customer as soon as the job was done. So now whenever they are in any doubt and they don't know what to do further, they can refer back to this documentation. And through all these sessions, we've also offered consulting to the customer. So uh, while we were configuring, uh, or uh, while, while our support guys were configuring uh, their environment, of course, all consulting was provided as, a, as a basically as a side job. So they were shadowing our progress and getting to learn the pro the product uh, during the process, right? So okay, you have your environment set up. That's okay. The customer's happy. You might be happy, but let's say if you don't really need that and you have your own resources to work with the integration, let's assume that you are a very high-level integrator and that's, you take pride in what you do and you advertise yourself as such. Why don't we just focus on tech support? I mean, that's still that's still available, right? Okay, tech support it is now. Not a lot of uh, our customers or our potential customers know how our technical services or technical support in this case is actually provided. Now, the majority of the communication goes through our secure portal on Jira, which means that uh, you as a customer get your own personal account with only you and the Zabbix support team having access to it. So that you can make sure that no one else, well, except for maybe myself, sees what's going on there. But uh, 
even if I do see it, I wouldn't necessarily understand what's going on, so that's pretty safe still, right? Uh, and of course, the other means of communications are email, SMS messages, remote sessions, or on-site visits. It all depends on what you need and how you wish to approach it. But it's all very nice to have decent communication, but there are a few things that we take great pride in, or at least we strive to achieve certain certain statements when it comes to our services. So with technical support, we really strive to make sure that response time with each new ticket, with each new inquiry is guaranteed. What does that mean? Good question. So, surprise, surprise, we also use Zabbix. I know it's a shocker, but please bear with me, it's not that bad. Really, it's not that bad, I promise. So, what happens is, uh, Again, with the help of our support engineers, because apparently they decided that they have too much free time in their hands, um, we decided to implement a bit of a monitoring of our own and make sure that each new ticket is monitored and the response time is monitored. And if anything happens, all of us get notified. So let me just explain to you very briefly how it works. So um, since we're using Jira for ticketing, right, we integrated Zabbix with Jira. That's pretty much straightforward. So every time a new ticket is submitted within a customer, corporate support accounts, within a certain amount of time, the corresponding support engineer should receive a notification by SMS and by email. Should this support engineer not receive or not respond rather to the ticket within a certain amount of time, and this of course also depends on the customer support level, so the response time varies, then all other engineers will also receive notification and we see that the problem is truly taken care of. Okay, so that's initial response, right? So let's assume that uh, you posted a ticket, we responded, and you have to reply back because let's say the case is ongoing. It's not just a yes or no question. So each update that you post in your support account is also registered and it still sends the same notification should there be no response. And this is something we're very interested in improving further to make sure that no single ticket get, ever gets overlooked. And we had a lengthy discussion on how to approach this better. Now, I personally voted cattle prods, but uh, a few of our engineers started taking very specific interest in that, so we decided to scratch that initiative. SMS and emails it is. Right, so the benefits of the services, of course, you get, you get the peace of mind that uh, someone's actually doing the job and doing it on time, and you don't have to fret about it. But you also get assurance that every single request you submit to Zabbix, every single engagement that we embark upon with you as a partner, with you as a customer, or as a third party, you can rest assured that it will be treated on a professional level and in a timely manner. And of course, every business engagement we get with any existing or new customers, this allows you to also support not just the product, but also the company, which in turn allows us, Zabbix, to improve our quality of service, to get more people on the team, to grow as a company and to grow as a professional entity, right? So we can make sure that through every other step of your uh, voyage with Zabbix, we got your back. And the last thing, which is not necessarily related to Zabbix services per se, using Zabbix and or using our services allows you to become a member of an awesome community. And this is not being said enough that what you guys do on your own with Zabbix is simply mind blowing at times. Right, so you take your time out of your day to add any custom, custom modifications to Zabbix so that it works for you the way you want it to. So you make your own templates. You, add, you make new blogs, Raymond. Looking at you there. Wink, wink, blog time. Okay. Right. So and aside from that, just if, if we watch what happens in the forum lately, right? So again, with, with the user activity, let's say, let's just focus on the last things that happens. The integration with uh, OpenStreetMaps and Leaflet. That was amazing. That took the forum by storm, specifically the Russian side, uh, the Russian section of, of the forum. But again, it got translated to uh, GitHub. There's also now, uh, I think it's also available on Zabbix.org and Zabbix Share. There's also integration of Zabbix and Grafana, simply because one of the guys decided that his boss actually wants to see uh, something different this time. 
but still they needed the, the benefits of using Zabbix. And what the impact of that was on our community and the feedback we received in turn was truly tremendous, right? Because when you do something like this, this allows us to focus more on your needs and to see what you're actually interested in, right? So this allows to this allows you to push us as a company to improve even further. further. So uh, yeah, thank you all very much, guys. You as a community. community. The other thing is, uh, well, you can always assist us by uh, getting the, vo the, the word of Zabbix out there. There's still the possibility of A, becoming our partner, B, becoming our customer and allowing us to plug that uh, you are a customer every now and then. And of course, should any of you be interested in working on a case study with Zabbix, you just let us know. We'd be more than happy to work with you. So yeah, feel free to contact us anytime you wish. Now, I know for a fact that a lot of you guys are still not necessarily using Zabbix all that intensively. Some of you are just considering to actually implement it at one point in the future. Some of you have been working it with the very first releases. But if you're looking into getting started with the product, here's what you can do. Of course, you can request a live demo and our support engineers will gladly provide it at any given time of day. You can attend our webinars just because most, much like our software, it's also absolutely free and it will not take a lot of your time and will still provide you with a lot of useful information. Of course, there's always an option of actually downloading and using the software. Okay, that's not gonna, that's not gonna do much to you, right? It's a simple click of a button. And my favorite way of getting started with Zabbix is actually buying our services. Well, because let's face it, if you already pay for something, you might as well use it, right? Makes sense. So that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. And uh, I promise to keep it short this time because I understand that much is like last year, I'm your last hurdle be between more beer and more parties. So that's pretty much it. I hope there are questions. So if there are any, ask away.